Hey, kinfolk, welcome to Keeping It Neat with Derek and Nick. I am Derek, Executive Bourbon Steward. I'm Nick, Certified Bartender, and this time it wasn't me forgetting my lounge. <laughs> nope, nope, not at all. I, I froze right there. Not going to lie. I, I, was, I had a couple of things. I said, should I put in live? Should I say it's keeping it neat live? And then it, like, yeah. got, it was that awkward hiccup in there. It looked like I just kind of blankly stared at the camera for a little while. But that's all right. <laughs> we got it all out. You know, We're going to do our thing here. We're going to talk for a little while, wait to get some people in. Again, uh, we'll tell you about that we are using StreamYard. So if you, and I don't know why this thing is... All weirded out on me over here. Uh, give up. I can't do anything right anymore. It's this is. I, I, Nothing I, will go right. Everything will go right. Interested? Yes. And it's not pulling it up for some reason, and I don't know why. But anyway, um, the we are live tonight, and we are gonna be using Streamyard right above where you're watching us right now on Facebook. Um, if you can go to where it says we are using Streamyard, go down to there to the little blue line part. Click on it and give the permission so that way when you comment tonight, your comments will show up with your name and not just Facebook user. That's how it shows up in our comments. Let's see. We already have comments going on right now, Nick. People are all over it. We got Ooh. Paul Lavelli. He's in. Hey, Paul. How you hey, doing, Paul. buddy? Uh, let me slide down here a little bit. What's what up, else? Got, no, Tony will be in later. Got the, some comments going. So, yeah. Oh, I got Bourbon Bay Becca working on the Wheel of Names, putting everyone's names in for the Joe drawing later. Hunter. Yep, so we're going to be doing all that. And me and Nick had a debate. We didn't know which way we wanted to go tonight. We were like, oh, should we start with the Weller Special Reserve or should we start with the Weller 107, Antique 107, just for the simple fact that we wanted to make sure everybody um, that got a sample uh, would be able to do that with us tonight. So we may go, we're thinking we're going to do that one second. We're going to do the special uh, the special reserved second, and we'll start off with the Antique 107, just so that way everybody can get in that may be wanting to join us tonight and get to actually sip along with us with the special reserve because we don't want anybody to miss out on that. And you know if they get in a little late and we've already torn through it and said, oh, sorry, uh, we did that one first. So we're going to do that one second. So... Um, you know, the Weller Antique 107 is obviously, it's obviously 107 proof. Um, so we're going to go 107 proof to 90 proof, 90 proof with the 12 year in the Weller Special Reserve. So, um, but that was Nick's idea. So if it doesn't work out, make sure you put all complaints towards Nick. Thank you very much. <laughs> just, just put all the blame on me. Yeah, just put all over. the blame on Nick. And okay, I'm going to try something now. I'm going to see if I can pull up our, sc our live screen here on mine without volume because then it makes like that wicked back feed. So Nick's going to talk to everyone and tell everyone how much he loves them. I love everyone and thanks for tuning in today. Uh, no, hi to, uh, we've got Chris, Karen, Tony, Bill, Darren. What's up, everyone? Uh, our kinfolk coming in strong, as Derek has said. Uh, we are actually going to do the one that we gave out to everyone second tonight so that we can make sure everyone's here. Um, we will be starting off the Weller Antique 107, going to Weller Special Reserve, the second one, and ending with the Weller 12 year. Um, and don't forget to comment. Let us know when we get to the second one, or if there is, if you do have one of the other bottles, join in with us as always. You know, comment and let us know what you're getting at the same time as us. Because that's the point of the show, right? So, it's a simple one. <laughs> All right. Um, one comment did say, Nick, that we're getting tons of feedback from you. So, um, if you can, go into the cam mic section and kick kick on the... Uh, what the heck is it? I don't even know what I wanted to do there. Um, click the... Uh, unclick the disable audio processing. So, uh, processing. so, if you have that on, uh, click that off the... Should be no blue mark in that box. Yeah, that might help. Okay. I inject it. All right, cool. All right, so we'll go with that for this and hope for the best. If I'm having anything, I'll go in on my end and I'll change mine too. And echo on Nick. Yeah, here's the whole thing, folks. Um, Nick's audio may be a little wonky. Um, we we were working it out like literally like before the show trying to get it fixed because we did a whole session of uh, blinds and like Nick's audio was really really low so. I have a lot of work cut out for myself, and the next time I edit those to try to boost his audio up without making mine blow your eardrums out. So I got to pull Nick's audio out specifically and boost it. So we just played. This is probably about the best we're going to get the audio tonight with Nick's. Um, let me see if I can fix. Maybe if I do mine too, that'll help with everything across the board. 
so audio processing and see maybe that'll help. So me and Nick are on the same page. We both have our audio processing on. Um, so that way, maybe the echo will be gone, hoping for the best. You know, you would think that with my last live for a little while that we could get all this. You know, this is like our sixth live I think we've done. We'd have all the things, but it, it, it's never going to change. It's all and we're having the most difficulties. Yeah, the most difficulties on my last one for a little while. So um, what do we got? We got 16 people in right now, waiting for a couple of more. We have, what time is it? We got five minutes in. We're going to give a little bit more time for people to come in. Now, Bourbon Bay Becca made a made a suggestion nick she said that maybe while we're going through the show here tonight we may do some random drawings for people to maybe get the weller 12 year uh sample so you know we'll just draw some random names throughout the evening here maybe you know for the first and during our first tasting boop they were going to draw a person another one boop later on we'll get another one um so we'll do that i think you know so we'll get a little bit more action going on here, you know, because that's the kind of people me and Nick are. We love giving stuff away. Yeah, It'll be prize of Palooza. That's right. Prize of Palooza. Prize of Palooza. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so that's what we're going to do. We already have quite a few people and we got 12 names already on the wheel of names. That's nice. Um, we got Sadie's there. Eric is in. Tony is in. Chris Melende. Chris. Darren's in. Hello, sir. Bill's in. Bill Kitcher. Hi, Bill. Karen. Um, Ms. Lavelli is in, who wins everything, so she'll probably get it all. Have like 15 gallons of booze for Paul. <laughs> yeah. But we'll see. Um, so for tonight, what we're going to be starting with, I have all these things I do up I, all week, and then I forget to put them up. But uh, as you know, that we did that the drawing last uh, on Sunday for the uh, Saturday, I think it was for the Weller Special Reserve, so we could send out the sip along samples to everybody, so everyone should have that. So we'll be doing that this evening. Um, that'll be number two. We're gonna do this as our second tasting, will be the Weller Special Reserve, so we make sure everyone's in, and if they're not in by the time we start that one, um, then they'll just have to sip along with whatever we're doing after that, but we're gonna give them a chance to get in. We're gonna start with the Weller 107 Antique. That's what we're gonna start with. So if you have that, I know there's a couple of people out there that might, that do watch our show, um, it is, it's a tough one to find. It is there, but the, all of these wellers are hard to find. And the last one we're going to end off with is going to be the Weller 12 year. I am super pumped. I was able to find this one finally after looking for it for over a year. Um, so it, it's kind of crazy. You know, you wouldn't think it would be that hard, but it was actually, I found it at a decent price. Um, well, I thought it was a decent price. Of course, you know, I talked to other people. They go, oh, dude, I got that for like 20 bucks. But, you know, that that, that wasn't me. But so this is what we're doing the Weller line tonight. That's right. Nick, this is like I'm like in Weller jail. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> so we have a little bit of Weller going on this evening, you know, and, and I don't know if you're if you're in the bourbon world and you're in the whiskey world, you know that in certain locations around the you know United States, the Weller is hard to find. It really is, it's a tough one. You can, a lot of times you can find the Special Reserve or you can find the Antique 107, but finding the 12 year or the full proof or the single barrel they just released this year, which if I could find, I would love to. I have a couple of people looking for it, looking, keeping an eye out for me and I told them if they see it, grab it and I'll pay them. Um, I am, that's one of the ones I definitely want. That's the new release this year. They have a single barrel release, so. Eh, they have a whole bunch in, but the price price factor is crazy on these. They go all over the board with them. So, uh, have you seen them out anywhere, Nick? I, I don't. You know, I know you go to the liquor stores, and yeah, it's it's like I've seen Weller, just the Weller um, Special Reserve one time. That's it. Okay. Um, but we have reserve. some hilarious comments going on <laughs> that I was reading, and I was chuckling up upon. <laughs> um, Jay finally made it from Bourbon and a Baby. Hey, Jay. Oh, he's, hey, Jay. Um, up, and Paul said that Becca has the most amazing uh, ideas, and Ooh, she what? does. And uh, and then Bill said, I'm making Tracy Roll chug it from all those sample bottles. Nice. I like it. Bottles. That's what I like to hear, sampling from all <laughs> the stuff. So. So hey Jay, I'm 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 kind of looking at like six different screens here. I, I have like us pulled up on another screen, trying to look it over there. What's Aaron? When can I eat the banana laffy taffy? The oh, banana Aaron. laffy taffy that we sent out. Um, we had one person ask us, go, why did I get banana laffy taffy in here? And I was like, well, you know, we did that laffy taffy taste off the uh, previous week um, from Bourbon Babe, who says that she gets all these laffy taffy and everything she drinks. So it tastes like banana laffy taffy. Banana laffy uh, taffy. Banana laffy taffy. Bubble gum. 
Yeah, bubble uh, gum, uh, Tootsie Rolls. So we we had those. The other side of an armpit. You know, just if you just lick that little. <laughs> yes. So Paul Lavelli says that he all his is gone. He couldn't even wait to. So they ate. I gave him, you know, he had a little bag full there for him and Karen. Um, Bill Kitcher. Yep. Yeah, Paul, the 107. Okay. Just making sure I'm saying hi to everyone that checked in here. Cool. And so, yeah, folks, if you, uh, here's another thing too, folks, got uh, Jay from Bourbon and a Baby. Check out his channel. Go over to Bourbon and a Baby. He does a whiskey review show like us. And he also does a little um, uh, new one. He's a new dad. So he does another channel. Well, it's the same one, but he does it with, you know, little tips and ideas for raising a child. Um, and, you know, it's pretty good. So go check him on out over there. Um, you know, glad you could make it here tonight with us. It's We've been off uh, on Different schedules, really, you know, everyone has their own things going on, but glad to have them here tonight. So, and it's actually a good night to be on because you could win a bottle. Oh, let me show the bottle that they could win. Should I do that? So tonight's main drawing winner will get a bottle of the Weller Antique 107. But what makes it more special, Nick? What do you think makes this more special? I think we did something to the bottle. Uh, listen, it wasn't anything dirty, folks. Listen, it we just... <laughs> No promises, though, because I wasn't always around that bottle, so I don't trust you, Derek. <laughs> but lo and behold, oh, there's a signature there. We put Keeping It Neat 2020 on the back and Nick's signature on the other side. So we actually signed the bottle. Um, you know, we it's kind of tough. Uh, that I, I just had it with me when I was dropping samples off to Nick to make sure he got it, uh, his samples. And then I said, hey, let's sign this one. He says, we, we did that on another bottle we did for a giveaway. It's a nice little touch. You know what I mean? So that's our main prize drawing. You'll also get a sample of the special reserve and a sample of the 12-year if you get selected for that prize. So you're going to get the 12-year, those special reserve samples, and you'll win the bottle of the Weller Antique 107. I have no other size t-shirts for the second drawing. This other drawing is only double extra large of either a red t-shirt or a black t-shirt. So it's double extra large. So put it in the wash, shrink it a lot. I don't know what to tell you. Cut the bottom off, make it into a half shirt if it works for you. Um, but that's the only size t-shirt I have. And you'll get a sample of each one of these. So you'll get the special reserve, the 107 and the 12 year as a sample if you get that one. So those are the two main prizes that we have this evening going. So you have obviously the bottle is the main prize. And then we have our secondary one, which will be the t-shirt for the giveaway. So sorry, I'm working on the t-shirts. We went and we saw our place today to talk to them, but I'm not going to have those for a while. And those will be able to be done by the time I'm out on my surgery and whatnot. So we'll have some giveaways in the future and we'll actually have t-shirts for sale. Woo! So we'll have those available. I'm getting them in normal people sizes. So that'll be extra large, large and medium. Um, and for those that want it, because there was one that asked the last time, we'll have schmedium also. So I guess some schmediums in. Schmediums. Yep, the schmedium shirt. <clears throat> oh, Darren says a half t-shirt totally works for him. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, oh, my goodness. All right. So we hop it into this. Yeah, let's get into it. We're going to start with the 107, folks. So if you've got your bottle of 107, crack it open, pour a little Don't bit out. Don't forget it. If you're one of the people who did get the other bottle, we are doing the Weller Special Reserve second. This yep. is going to be second. So yeah, I'm going to be doing the Special Reserve as our number two. something else while you wait. <laughs> yep. So just so you th so you know, because we wanted to make sure we got everybody in tonight that did win that drawing, that got those, that pick, that had them. That uh, so we're going to do it second to make sure we have the maximum amount of people in there in, but so that we can all sip along together with our Special Reserve. So Nick, are you ready to whiskey, my friend? Ready and able, my friend. Let's do it. Ooh, that was like in sync. I love it. That was perfect. It was. Wow. This smells amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's got a good nose. Um, I mean, well, here's the whole thing, too, is I mean, if you're, again, in the whiskey world, you know these things. But um, if you don't, uh, this is the same stuff that they make Pappy Van Winkle from. So the Pappy Van Winkle line all comes from this. Hey, Amos, so what's going on? You like the nose. Do you <laughs> like the body on it? <laughs> the body. Absolutely. Rick uh, House Ramblings is in. Hey, guys. <laughs> Oh, from the Outer Banks, those guys are coming in. Nice. Ooh, that has got a, got a really nice nose to it, man. Yeah, it really does. So, getting a light oak. Um, like a, It's like a super heavy cherry for me. 
I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I was going to say very heavy on the cherry, like but a dark cherry. There's some cinnamon, uh, a little bit of maybe nutmeg or clove in there. I'm going to go yeah. with nutmeg. It's nice. It's really good. I mean, now when we tried the old Rip Van Is Winkle 10-year, which was 107, that one um, really sipped a lot easier than a 107, you know, 107 proof. I'm almost like, is it star anise? I think I'm getting a little bit of it. It's either that or the clove, like you said. I can't depict which one's which because we don't have the kit in front of us. No, yeah. And the kit, you know, I mean, you've seen us use the kit before, especially on the show. Uh, we, we use that quite a bit. Cherry for Folks, sure. tell me tonight, you know, what's your dominant nostril? Is it oh, your left tonight? or your right? <laughs> Comment tonight? below. Tonight, mine is my left right now, but that could change because I don't know where my three-hour window is on the dominant nostril. My my right's my dominant tonight. I think left was last week. All right. Hmm. So cherry for sure. I always get a lot of cinnamon up front from the 107, says Jay from Bourbon and a Baby. Um, there is that cinnamon note in there. Definitely you're getting that, with that baking spice. Like I said, and there's something else where I'm getting you know, myself in the back there, like maybe a little nutmeg or that clove kind of going on. Um, yeah. I want to go in for the sip. So. Okay. Cheers. <laughs> Ooh. That's tasty. Got that yep. cinnamon on the back of the tongue, some oak. Mm. That cherry note is in there, definitely. I'm getting a lot of honey, too, in there, too. Okay. That's delicious. Heaven in a glass. In a glass. I must have missed that. Wow. He hasn't come up yet. Hmm. It left a solid coating on my mouth on the first swig, too. It's it, It's got a, a long finish. It's definitely giving you that nice long finish, getting that little Kentucky hug coming down. Hmm. I'll add a little water to this and bring it down a little bit in a little while, like we normally like to do. Um, passing it off to Bourbon Babe off to the side of me here because she wants to try it, and she's gonna. I'm gonna hear some coughing or some weird sounds in a second because she's gonna when she tastes that and gets that 107 on. Ryan Ferrari says it smells like another pour for him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and my buddy said, "Hey, those things were great the other day. You know, are you gonna give me some more? Because you know, I gave him his samples, and he already probably already drank them. But I guess he didn't. He lied. It's good because I'm glad he can sip along with us this evening. And I mean, again, you know, different parts of the country, this is really hard to find. But yet, um, price wise on these, I mean, they're all over the board, man. And I have a definite cutoff. I'm not gonna spend crazy money for the 107 because I know what I've paid for it before in the past. But other people, um, what they've bought these for, I like, you know, I've, I've heard people say or seen people say that they've paid $25 for like the Weller Special Reserve and maybe 30 bucks or 25 or $28 for the Antique 107. If you've seen them out, clip in the comments what you've got, what you've seen for prices um, in your areas and just say where you're from or something like that. If you're not from Massachusetts, um, what, let us know. How much you, did you get it for? Um, originally, when I first bought my first bottle, I believe it was $46 I paid for the Special Reserve. And it was like, I think I want to say it was like 50 bucks or $54 for the Weller 107. That's what I would have guessed too. I would have guessed. We're on the 107 right now. Yeah, we're on the 107 right now. We're drinking the Weller 107, Antique 107. We're going to drink the 90 on uh, a second one. So, you know what, man? Maybe I should put up the bottle. Let everyone know what we're drinking. I'll put the bottle up. This is what we're drinking right there. It can be between me and Nick the whole time now. Let everyone know. I, I do I do all these graphics and stuff, and I never use them. So tonight, I'm using them. My live comments aren't updating, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All mine are updating, too, so I'm, I'm kind of stuck right now. So I'm, I'm counting on Bourbon Bay Becca here to. Uh, Paul bought all of his for $55. Uh, Paul Lavelli got all his for $55, so. <laughs> well, you know what? I was fortunate enough to see Paul's, I can't even say, is it a special reserve stash? His stash that he's got going on. Special reserve stash? Oh, uh, well, you know, here's the whole thing. You know, a lot of people like to show pictures. 
Paul doesn't post pictures uh, usually of everything, but you can, um, other people in the bourbon groups I am a member of, they'll show, they have like eight bottles of the Weller Antique, or if it's the Special Reserve, they have like eight bottles. And I'm like, that's why I can't find it because all you people are hoarding it all. You're buying every bottle and none of them are open. That's the thing that kills me. They'll show me eight bottles and not one of them is open. So I don't know what they're doing with these bottles. Um, they're just hoarding them. That's all. Paul does drink his. Paul does drink his. I know that for sure. Paul, Paul definitely enjoys drinking his. Um, Eric is getting clove and honey. Okay, so, yeah, unfortunately, my uh, screen here is not updating. Yeah, mine isn't either, but Eric uh, Eric said he's getting, Eric Connor said a little clove and honey on this. Yeah, I heard that. That's kind of what we were saying before, too. Totally, yeah. Yep, so the clove and honey. We've got Nat, 69, 69. Ha <laughs> ha, hilarious. Love from the UK. Hey. Cheers. Cheers to you. Welcome aboard. If you have it right now, we are drinking Weller Antique 107. Mm. Jay from Bourbon Baby says. I'll add a little uh, H2O to this, baby. Okay, so Jay from Bourbon and a Baby, he says that he gets it for 50 bucks. He lives out in Ohio way, so um, it's about $50 there for him. And Special Reserve is 30 And Special Reserve is 30 Well, that's I, I would love to find it for 30 bucks. That'd be great. Um yeah, you know, it's the nose and everything, like the honey, it, it's a really nice drinking bourbon. It really is. This is really good. Like I said, I was looking for the 12 year forever, you know, and you, you, I heard rumor of it. I'd show up to the place. No, we haven't had that in a while. We haven't had that. I just lucked upon it one day. I walked into a liquor store and I saw it on the shelf. I said, how much is it? They told me and I said, I will take that because sometimes you just have to do what you got to do. Oh. Paul says, I have a modest collection. I'm not a hoarder. And then um, Mike Noon says, my Henry McKenna lasted about five days. Well, there you go. So see, there are those that drink what they have, and I, I can appreciate that. Um, Nat, from she's from the UK. She's from Manchester. Where's the bourbon? <laughs> I guess there's no bourbon over there in the UK. And I know that we follow a couple of uh, channels over there from the UK. Uh, new Dram Drinker, um, the, the Whiskey Friend, quite a few. And they're always doing scotches. I'm sorry, what is it? I don't know who to put on there because that must be through Nat. Yeah, Nat6969. Anybody else? Uh, you got Bourbon or Baby. Yep. I don't think so. Uh, you got Rick House Ramblings went yep. in. Yep, okay. So how many people we got on the wheel now? 20 entries on the wheel. All right. Woo, don't forget if you're coming in. To comment because if you comment, you get entered into the wheel, which you could own one of <coughs> these bottles. <laughs> I'm talking about what oh, side right there, one yeah. of these yeah. bottles with our names on it. Plus, yeah. to keeping it neat logo, logo. Yeah, yeah, we have a you know signed it as a little keeping it neat. I'm putting a little water in mine just to open, see if it opens it up a little bit. You know, give it a little whirl, see, drop it down to like maybe 101. I'm still just getting those like fourth pudding like. That's definitely the honey stuff. note, the um, it, it smells amazing. The honey, the cherry, the spice of some sort. Yep. Yeah, no, it's really nice. I like it, and I think that you know everyone really did nail the notes on it. And I wrote the notes. Well, I didn't write the notes down. I do. You know how we do the show. I always write the notes. I I pull them up. I see where I can find them. I got all the notes for these off of Flavia. And this bottle right here, unbelievably enough, I went on there to check the other day just to get the notes when I was doing it. They want 106 bucks on Flavia for this. Um, if you order it through them, yeah, $106. They didn't have any of the other ones. They didn't have the 12 year, the foolproof, any of that, the other brands. They only had this one, but it, they want 106. I would never pay $106 for this. Um, not in a lifetime. So, uh, I do have my limits on it. You know, I mean, I think the most I paid is 54, I think was one of the bottles I did buy. So that's about it. I'm not going to, I'm any more than that. And I'm personally, I'm not going to buy it. I mean, I've tried it. I get to try it. Maybe if you've never had it before, you would go on that of that far extreme to get it if you've never seen it. Um, but even with the 12 year, you know, I have a limit. You know, I had a limit. I said what I was going to be purchasing it for. Um, now, again, like we said, these all start. This is what the Pappy line is drawn from. So these are the same that you'll be getting in your Pappies. Um, obviously, there's a, they do a selection process. They pull out the 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 
select that they want for the pappy and they age them longer or they are already, you know, to where they think that they can make it as a pappy. So these are a weeded bourbon. Um, this is 107 proof, 53.5% alcohol. The age, don't know what the age is on this. If anybody knows what the age is, put it down there. I couldn't find it anywhere. Um, what else we got? We have the bu -bu 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 -bu, uh, mash bill, just Buffalo Trace. Uh, the parent company is Sazerac. Um, the WL Weller Old Antique is a Kentucky straight weeded bourbon, sometimes called Antique 107. That is indeed bottled at 107 proof. That's uh, close to being cask strength for them. And all the flavors are powerful at that level. Although there is no age statement, the consensus of our experts and the bourbon drinking public is that it clocks in somewhere near the seven years old. So they're assuming it's seven years old, um, this one. As a straight bourbon, it can't have any artificial colors, flavorings, obviously. Can't get rich color and smooth finish like that without being in the barrel for a long time. Um, bottom line, it's very smooth with a very light spice at a great value. Okay, we have on the appearance, it says it's a warm amber. Um, the aromas on the nose are remarkably spicy for a weeded spirit, delivering notes of cinnamon, vanilla, caramel, butterscotch, and wood. So if you get any of those in there, you were correct. And again, everything is different. I could gr grab these notes from a you know a bunch of different uh, whiskey reviews, and they would all be all over the place. You know, they, you'll get some of the predominant notes that will always come through, but for the most part, you know, there are no wrong notes. Um, on the palate, uh, the flavors come in distinct waves, and all power of that uh, the spirit notes of spice cake, leather, and a rum like quality. Um, which I, I, I can see the spiciness in there because it's definitely got that spice cake-ness to it. So you're getting all those baking spices in there. Um, when sipped neat, the finish is long with a nice burn of heavy oak and sweetness. Um, it definitely is. It, it, it's got though. It, it's a really nice sipper. It really is. It, it's a great bourbon. Get rid of those notes over there. Mm -mm. You know what I have it's to do now? You said that, like, I forgot that Pappy, you said this is kind of, you know, in ways used to make Pappy. And it's funny because it gives off similar notes when we tried the Pappies that time. And I was like, oh, it smells so good. I'll be in. Oh, my God. This fucking girl. Oh, my Oh boy. Yeah. So I don't know. What do you want to do? You want to, you think we got enough people now? We got 26 people here. Where are we at for time? We're at uh, 27 minutes into the show. I think we're going to go over to the uh, Special Reserve next. What do you think, Nick? I think we're pretty much ready. Um, we got Chris Melendi saying, is that bottle going to taste better with your signature on it? <laughs> no, absolutely it will. You bet. Yes, it will. And Tony will. said, Why I feel it? like 99% of these have caramel in them. You know, and you're really not wrong if you're getting caramel in them. Caramel, vanilla, that's like me and Nick's nemesis, you know, saying what we're getting out of it. One of those, you can go 50-50 either way with it, It's and you wouldn't be wrong. You really wouldn't. If you're saying you're getting vanilla, you're getting vanilla. I can't tell you you're not, honestly. I really can't. So, you know, Eric just said, I smell bananas. I think that's a little <laughs> hint, hint over to our firm day, Becca. So I went to grab my glass to go smell it and then realized I grabbed an empty glass after I smelled it. I was like, I don't smell anything. And I was like, oh, wrong glass. <laughs> well, there you go, you know. So if well, you have your I was Weller, getting ready to pour the next one, so. There you go. So if you have your Weller Special Reserve that you got the samples of, make sure you pour them out right now because we'll be doing a sip along with that. So oh, Bourbon Babe wants some of this too. So I got to pour Bourbon Babe some. So there we go. We got our samples out. Let them breathe for a couple of seconds. So, um, yeah. So, you know, we had a huge response to that one where we got to send out our samples to people um, so that they could sip along with us. You know, I mean, I, I was really excited that we had that much response, that so many people wanted the chance to be able to, you know, get involved with the show, really, you know, and be able to comment and talk about what experience they were getting from the whiskey. So, you know, um, so what we're doing, again, the Special Reserve, this is 90 proof. So if you have it right now, make sure you pour it out, um, you know, get ready to do our sip along with it. And we'll wait a minute or two. But um, you know what? Can we do a spin, Rebecca? And we're going to see for a sample of the 12 year. I will send you a sample of the 12 year. Um, so we're going to do one spin right now. We have uh, Heist 2, Hybrick, 
and hi, Jeff. Oh, and Amos. How do you give people shoot shout outs because I can oh. get them on my phone right now while we're trying to do this, but our live comments is not working. Oh, I so. got you. Oh, uh, the live. Yeah, it's it's kind of breaking down. I'm going to give Nick uh, over for this for one second. And I Tony, was... where's your crackers? Don't worry. I oh, know I, know, right here. I know. Make sure you cleanse your palate also, people. Make sure you drink a little bit of water, cleanse the tongue before we get into this. I'm going to put Nick big screen on here, and I'm going to drop out for a second. I will be right back in. Hey. How you doing? You come here often? I come here weekly, Thursday nights, 8 p.m. <laughs> come by sometime. We drink. We taste some crackers. We do some things. Derek has officially left me on the show alone. So if you haven't yet, comment below so that you can get into our raffle in the next few minutes. We're going to be doing another wheel, and then we will be coming and doing our Weller Special Reserve. So looking forward to doing that. So um, if you haven't yet, make sure it's poured. Make sure you've commented. Make sure you share this with your friends. Let's see. I'm just here. I don't know. I feel like I should be doing a dance or something. Maybe this is a time where we should compare the Lappy Tappy and then our laters. Now's a good chance. If you haven't yet, let us know which one you preferred. Lappy Tappy or now and laters. I want to know what people want. So It doesn't. Hey, thanks for coming back. Now you're muted. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, all right. I poured it out. So you ready to get into this, buddy? So let me get that back yeah. up. I had to do a whole spiel while you were gone. Yeah, I know. I heard it was great. You did a great job with that. I was trying to work some stuff out, but not so much for me. All right. So let's pull this back up there, put that in the center and go back to comments and we're good to go. I'm adding my own fans. Oh, fuck off. Okay. All right. So are you ready to whiskey, sir? Ready and able. Let's go. Ooh. Ding, 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 ding. Very similar nose. It is very similar. Almost identical. So, folks, now's a good chance. Comment along. Let yeah. us know what you're getting in the nose. Let us know what you're getting in the flavors. Um, obviously, we always do the nose first before we go into our Kentucky Swig. So, what are you getting? Comment now. So, yes, um, I'm getting a pretty similar nose to the 107. Obviously, it's a little dialed down from the alcohol of that one. Um, but I'm still getting that cinnamon going on. I'm getting some cherry going through it. I'm getting a lot of that. A lot of cherry, a lot of candied sweetness. Um, Paul Lavelli said more candy in the 107. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's a little more candied over. Darren said, my right nostril burns. <laughs> uh, hey, guys, just want to let you know that I have to pull down one of our feeds because it's having a problem. So that one, do, 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 do. I have to pull down my periscope. Unfortunately. I could tell you were distracted. I knew you had something yeah, going sorry on. Sorry about that. I had some crap going on there, and now I had to get rid of it, so um yeah i was having some problems with my periscope feed so sorry about that so if you were on periscope you're gonna have to change over so i had to drop that one which is on twitter and whatnot so that one just went out but oh well i still got the facebook and this one up that's all that matters so now back to real life um now back to the goods yeah so i have um that obviously that that, that cherry going on in there i'm getting the, the again some oak in there a little bit said a lot of cinnamon sweeter vanilla and sh vanilla is stronger in this one Okay. Yeah, again, like, if you didn't get to try the first one, like, it's going to come off 
you're getting that like that smell and it's like what is that we're kind of trying to depict that is it the clove is it like an allspice is it like a star anise it's like some sort of a spice i feel like that's in there with along with like the cherry and the honey the vanilla notes mm -hmm. sweet but spicy it's kind of like what are those sour, like the sour patch kids when they're sour but sweet yep. <laughs> in those commercials Not get much more, so I'm going in. Yeah, give it a whirl. Put it on the tongue. Let's see what it's like. I thought you were going to do a wheel thing, by the way. Oh, yeah, we are. That's right. We're, we're drawing the 12 year old winner right now. Let me pull that up. Add to the stream. Let me drop this bottle out because it's in the way. Boop. There we go. Ooh. Big screen with that. Okay. So this is going to be for a sample of the 12 year. Ready? Roll that beautiful bean footage. Oh, bourbon and a baby. Jay, congratulations. Hey, Jay. Jay. So you want a sample of the 12 year. Don't know if you've ever tried it, but if you haven't, guess what's coming to you? You'll get a sample. Um, you know, just reach out to me, hit me on my, uh, the DM on Twitter or on our Facebook page and let me know your address and I'll get that out to you. So congratulations, Jay. Nice. We'll get back to our regular scheduled program. Me and Nick, that's it. So going through here. You know, what's crazy. So, um, this one's not as sweet in the palette as the last one this one is a lot more spicier to me um <clears throat> a lot a lot more of a pepper note in the back palette too okay like afterwards i feel like i gotta like clear my throat or something because i've had too much pepper yeah <laughs> um so it, i mean it's not it's not terrible but i actually think that i like the weller antique 107 a little bit more but that's my sweet side coming out whereas yeah. this one's giving me a little bit more of those um those spicy notes, like I was saying. What do you think? I found that this wasn't as sweet as the 107. I think it's a little dialed down for me yeah. anyway. Not the same sweetness level. Um, that one was like a candy kind of sweet going on with a lot of it. Yep. Whereas on this special reserve for me, um, uh, it's kind of weird. Um, it's the same really mash bills that you'll be dealing with here, but it's a lower proof. So, you know, you, you, you will be pulling out some different notes from it. So I think like I'm getting more of the vanilla right now in the caramel than I was on the actual with the 107 myself. Yeah. And where like, that's what I was saying. I prefer that sweet side. So I prefer that 107. Whereas yeah. this special reserve is more <laughs> of the, uh, the spicy side that I feel like you might like more. Oh yeah, slide into those DMs. Yeah, Woo that's it. Jay from Bourbon and Babe gonna slide in those DMs when you win something. Absolutely, buddy. <laughs> Congratulations, sir. He also says he gets vanilla oak and a buttered popcorn. Okay, I like the buttered popcorn. I can see that. Did you see what? Aaron what do we got? What's I going on on Facebook? Aaron. We have no one giving us anything. Come on, people, tell us what you're getting. Okay. Uh, Tracy Roll says definitely more spice um, than sweet on this one. Um, what else we got? We got smells sweeter than it is, Tony says. Chris Melendi has definitely spicier on the back end. Tony says cinnamon, sweeter, vanilla, stronger in this mm. one. Okay. Uh, Mike Noons says he's getting a little honey flavor. Okay. Aaron's got a little <laughs> then and now later the banana taffy yeah. taste. Circus peanuts when you eat it with the special reserve. Don't bring up circus peanuts. I like circus peanuts. Oh, do you? Circus peanuts kind of guy? I, I I like them occasionally. Yep, I do. Oh, wow. Yeah. So um, yeah. So let us know what you're getting. I mean, we had we sent out 17 samples, so I know everyone's got to be in because we have 20 some odd people watching us right now. So if you're in on our live, let us know what you're getting off your notes off your special reserve. Don't be shy. Get in there. Here's the beauty of here's the beauty of whiskey, bourbon in general. You're never wrong with whatever you're getting, honestly. Um, it's it's an a individual experience every time you take a sip. Um, don't let anybody ever tell you what you're getting is wrong. Don't you know that is completely wrong for anybody to do. I don't know what you have, what you're getting on your palate. Um, so I wouldn't be able to tell, oh no, you should be getting this. If your experiences that you have for flavor wise say that, you know, maybe you have a different flavoring experience than I do, 
Um, so maybe you're picking up something different that I have never tried before, but yet you can get it because you know what that tastes like. I don't, so I wouldn't be able to pull it out. So don't ever let anybody tell you that what you're getting off of a whiskey is wrong because it's not. You can pull a hundred, you know, if we had a hundred people here, everybody would get something different out of this. I'm getting a little leather note in there too. <clears throat> so things to look for that I think, you know, and recap things that you might have heard or not sure what to focus on when you sip it. Cause we've, you know, we explained, if you go back and watch our bourbon one one episode, we really tell you how to break things down, how you have to really imagine it in your head while you're sipping or while you're smelling it to really see if you're getting those flavors or not. You're not always going to get the same flavors. It's not, it's not possible. Derek, how many episodes have we had where you have something completely different than what I've had? Well, I can't even tell you, dude. I think I know I'm, I'm doing the Most editing people. now. We're on, for, for blind reviews, honestly, like we're on it. We're into the seventies now, something like that, where I'm editing out to. So, I mean, that's just for the blind reviews, Never mind lives or specials or little things that uh, all the other stuff we've done too. So, it uh, like what Nick gets, Nick may say, oh, I'm getting like a grassiness to it and I'm not getting grassy at all. I'm not getting a grassy note. I may be pulling out a sweet note or, you know, my, uh, you know, I say, you know, maybe a floral note on my end, but he's getting a grassy note. So it's not wrong. He's getting what he's getting. I can't tell him, no, you're not getting that. He's getting it. That's what he smells. So what, what I'm smelling right now is, you know, we've been working Ooh. on the same one now for, I think like five to 10 minutes. I mean, now it's still growing on me. Now I'm getting a little bit of a, like a toffiness in there too, like a, a hint of toffee if you dive deep in. Um, so it's like fruit, <laughs> some sort of fruit with like spice going on. Then it's, I feel like I'm getting some sort of like toffee, like vanilla caramel going on. And then it's finishing with like a peppery note. So it's this really interesting blend. And like I said, the Weller Antique 107, if you're like me, and when you watch the episodes, you're like, oh, I like the sweet realm, head that way next time because that's more of what I like. Um, this, I feel like, is more that in between, Derek. Don't you feel like it's it almost, not a rye, but like some, maybe some of the spices we're getting are similar to a rye? No, you're um, absolutely correct. You know, and um, Paul Lavelli said there, he thinks he's getting an herbal note in the special reserve, but not like a rye herbal, where th th I understand what he's saying with that, with the difference from the rye. But I understand what you're saying about that, those those notes that you're getting in there, Nick, they could lead you towards that rye end of it um, mm -hmm. just for that. But that could be from the blend from the weeded bourbon. Um, we got, uh, what else? I saw hers in there. Uh, Jesse D'Agostino says she has vanilla and like clove or cardamom. So she's getting a cardamom in there. So again, I, you know, I don't have a lot of experience with the cardamom. So I'm, I couldn't really say if I was getting that or not, I need to find that spice so I can actually sniff on it and see, um, if I can pick that out in the future. So, um, so, so Brian Dunman, hey guys, thanks for inviting me to the group and thanks for reviewing three of your faves. Well, hey, glad these are your faves and thanks for joining the group. And I don't know why my, my comments are not reloading in my... Uh, Mine aren't either, Derek. So I don't know, we're just overwhelmed right now. It's like I have to go and I have to like literally like reload, like we're at 123 now and I have to go down and keep pulling it back up. So it's not coming up on my feed right now for whatever reason. It's it's annoying. Um, H2O opens it up a little bit, Tony says. So he put some H2O in his, um, which I have not done yet, but I will. Uh, Darren Morano says, spice in the front takes over and it feels front heavy for him. Um, Chris Melendi, the spice definitely lingers on the tongue. Mike Noons, definitely some peppers or spice after that. Uh, Chris Melendi says, definitely some vanilla. Uh, my, uh, Mr. Car Eric Connors agrees with Darren about the spice on the front of it. So um, I think you're right with that, Nick. I think there is a lot of spiciness going on in this one versus the 107, which was a total different experience, which I like to see when you're doing it. Cause I mean, there's no, yeah, you don't want them to all taste the same. You want exactly. them to be different. You know, to, to be dealing with it, you know, to buy th three different bottles of it and to get the same experience basically, but it's like, okay, this one's just, it's the higher proof. It's a lower proof. It's the same thing going all the way across. Um, it's, it's just not that pleasurable, honestly. You want to have something different between them that'll bring you back to that bottle specifically. So the H2O kills the, uh, kills the burn. I mean, there's a little bit of a hug at the end, but it, it kills the oh, yeah. alcohol burn at least. It does um, bring it down. It brings out a little bit more of a sweeter note for me. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, it does. If you still have, if you have the 107 and you, Paul Lavelli says, if you have the 107 and you go back and you sip that now after it, um, it makes it even more amazing. So if you have that 107, go back to that and you you, you can do the little bounce back and forth, which is is interesting when you're doing it because you can sniff one to the other and it's totally different. That the the 107 smells incredible now. Yep. It it almost reminds me of the pappy smell. Yeah, it does. Um, now, for those that don't know or haven't heard of poor man's pappy, I forgot to look that up. But basically, to make a poor man's pappy, you actually use, I believe it was like a mix. There's a couple of different recipes out there you can look on YouTube and find. Um, and you, it's a couple of them involve either just blending a couple of the special reserves together. Um, so it would be like the Weller special, the special reserve, and maybe the antique, or if I forget, it may have been the 12-year. And you put like a blend of 50-50 together, and basically it comes out, it makes it close to what a pappy would be like. Um, so that, that they call it the poor man's pappy. Uh, there's a couple of recipes, you know, definitely just put that in, poor man's pappy on YouTube, and you'll find a whole bunch of different people that have done it. And some of them involve actually putting them in the small barrels to let them age for like a week or so, and then it pulls more of the oak through it. Uh I'm going back, 133 comments. So we have a few comments out there. I heard the word cardamom and rushed in to try some of Becca's. I evidently, Sadie likes cardamom. because she... no, that's not true. I just was curious. Uh, right. curious. So um, you know what we're going to do right now, folks? We're going to spin the wheel for another sample of the 12 year while we're Woo-hoo! just skipping along. Spin that wheel. Spin that wheel. Spin the wheel. And we, we're up to like. We were at one point up to like 29 people at one point. So, again, just keep sharing with everyone. If you haven't, tell them about the Facebook group. Tell them about the Facebook post, the lives. Um, tell them about our YouTube channel and how to go subscribe. I mean, all right. So, to let's spin. Shuffle? We had bourbon and a baby. One of the shuffle first. Uh, yeah, do a shuffle. We got a shuffle going. And now the spin, three shuffles, three shuffles. and spin that wheel. Hey, Chris. Melende. Congratulations, sir. Congrats, Chris. Oh, so I'm just checking my feeds here on everything I got. Uh, pull us back up. Drop this out. So congratulations, Chris, on that. You won the bo- the sample of the 12 year. So hit us in the DMs or at our email and let me know your address, um, an email address, so I can get back to you and get everything to you. So uh, do I have Chris Melendez? Oh, I do have Chris Melendez. He did us in mine. So I have some. Actually, Chris, yes, I do have yours. I will pull it up off of my uh, emails that I already have from you or my DMs um, from when you got the samples when I sent them to you. So I will get that to you next week. I will try to get it in the mail, hopefully maybe tomorrow if I have enough boxes because we – the bourbon babe went kind of crazy. So let's do a blurp, just a puzzle palooza here. We're gonna do the uh, what is it? A oh, prize of palooza, not puzzle prize palooza. Of palooza. Puzzle palooza. Puzzle palooza. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. So hmm. mm. this one's good. Um, I like it a lot. I mean, I, I was hoping we'd get some more uh, comments on it. As far as the sip along this portion, people got 144. It's a, unfortunately, for whatever reason, I'm stuck here and I'm afraid to hit the reload button on my um, screen here because of I, I don't want to lose the stream. Yeah, I don't want to lose the stream, but I don't think I'd lose the stream if I did it. So, uh, do I do it or not? Yeah, yeah, I know, right? That could be a problem. <laughs> huh? Well, that could be a problem. It could be a problem. But you know what? Just like the Wheel of Fortune, I'm I'm risking it. Here we go, folks. If we drop out, guess what? I'll, I'll pop it back up in a second. Wow. Hold on. Now it's just me again. Guess it's a good cracker break. <laughs> hey, I got all the comments. Oh, <laughs> good. My turn. On my end on over here, so that's good. Oh, and Nick's gone. <laughs> oh no, he's back! Oh, whoo! That nerve made me nervous there for a second. You were gone. I All went- right. 
Yeah, so we, oh, we, we yeah, dropped I'm everything out there now. for a second. Well, we'll just wait for people to come back in. I don't know how many viewers we have. I, I saved it, but maybe I didn't save it. I don't know. Um, so, because now we went from having 20-some-odd viewers to three. <laughs> What'd you do? That was my my reset, but I finally got all those because like we had so many comments that were coming in and I couldn't find them. So it was very annoying. So we'll give everybody a second here to come back in. I'm no, sorry about that. There's three on, on um, YouTube. There's three what comments? No, there's three people on oh. YouTube and on, are you watching it on? Yeah, no, on Facebook, we still have 26. <laughs> all right. Okay. Well, that's good. All right. So we have two winners for the 12 year drawing that we've done already today. What do we got? Back to Nick eating crackers. Oh, Nick. Yeah, that, see, I'm sorry. That's what we should have for our in-between screen is Nick eating crackers. That will be. That's what I did. That's what that the will be. I draw in from now on Nick eating crackers. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Perfect. We just need some good background music. I know, right? We'll have to. I'll have to do that. We'll have to pull in some background music for that. We didn't do our our. <laughs> All the luscious locks. Ah, crackers. crackers. That's amazing. Uh, so he, Darren Marino needs more. So I don't, he, so he needs more. He needs what? One more he cracker needs more time? Yeah, more cracker footage. That's what the people want. Yeah. No, I don't think it was the cracker footage they want. I think it's more of the uh, special reserve they want. That's what they're looking for. <laughs> Sadie says she thinks I'm mistaken. She thinks she just wants people want to see you eat crackers. That's what we're going to do. Next live, we're going to do an hour and a half of just Nick eating crackers. That's it. That's all we need. Brian Ferrari would like to know what's That'll be the first week of Nick alone eating crackers. Yeah, they, they want to know what, what you're getting. Yeah, they want to know what kind of spices you're getting out of that cracker you're eating. <laughs> a little sea salt, a uh, little cracker. <laughs> Very nice. I'm getting a bright. See, you should have said brininess. I'm getting a light brininess to this. Yeah. Sorry, I don't know my my uh, cracker lingo. <laughs> cracker lingo. I know. I know. There, there's got to be cracker tasters out there. You know, like bourbon and whiskey. Like it's a crack a cracker sommelier. That's what there is. There's gonna be a cracker sommelier out there. Yeah, I'll have to do my research and get back to. You. <laughs> so and Darren said more cowbell. More. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so well, moving along here, folks. Um, so anybody Jeff else? Ross had won some cracker eating in slow motion. Go oh, cracker eating <laughs> in slow motion. Uh, you know what? I have to put together that. I can't do that on this one. Nick will have to fake. Here we go. Here you get live footage of Nick eating a cracker in slow motion. It gets better, people. You know, we're not just a whiskey <laughs> review channel. We're also. <laughs> Wants Nick eating crackers as a t shirt. <laughs> Nick eating crackers as a t shirt. Just Nick. Just... <laughs> Perfect. Dude, I can't. Let's move on to this Weller 12. <laughs> yeah, we're going we're gonna to move up to the Weller 12 and we're going to move away from Nick eating crackers for now, folks. I know it's going to be, we may drop viewers now. I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> we just lost everyone. Everyone we lost literally all got our viewers because Nick stopped eating crackers. <laughs> you should have learned. I am a little hot. I just bought an AC today, but it's really not doing as much as I was hoping it would do for the entire lower floor here. My one-story ranch, and I was hoping it would condition the air a little bit more, but. So, sir, are you ready to whiskey? I am ready and able. Oh. Oh. Done with the crackers. No, the crackers are a big hit. Who would have known? <laughs> Sadie's gonna come up with some. Just, Sadie says she's gonna come up with some cracker eating shirt t shirt prototypes. <laughs> when Derek is gone, everyone will be eating crackers. So Tracy says, Wow, Paul said, Yeah, you're gonna whip the hair. Like, I, I don't have any hair to whip. Look, I'm gonna give you the I need I need the powder person to come out and hit me with the, the know, powder right? to, to, to deglaze me. <laughs> I need a deglazing. I can whip my hair when I'm in the like the water, but I can't do oh, it. That's dry. what we need in slow motion. We need you coming out yeah. of the water and just flipping <laughs> your head back. Oh my gosh, that would be hilarious! I do like a promo with like the latest bourbon for next week. I'm like, there you go. Maybe the cracker cool. in your hand too, a little soggy cracker. <laughs> so we're doing the twelve. Oh, I missed you. <laughs> 
So we're on to the Weller 12 year. If you have a Weller 12 year, please feel free to sip along with us. Let us know what you're getting out of it. Woo. Definitely different than the other one. Special reserved. Yeah, I mean, it's like if you took the first two and then just elevated both the levels of scents. Oh, you know what? And speaking of scents, I forgot my scents. Let me tell you what you were, we were getting off the special reserve there for scents, sir. Um, <laughs> on the nose, it was, you find notes of caramel and sourdough bread. That's interesting. Again, these are from Flaviar. Um, the palate is rich and sweet with dessert tones of toffee, butterscotch, nutmeg, and toasted wood. And on the finish, oh, my favorite, the finish is short, lingering floral notes of jasmine. And Nick, guess what? Honeysuckle. 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 I say that all the time that I get that is one of the notes on a lot of the scotches we do. That's one of the yeah. notes that I do is predominantly get. Um, okay. So this is, so we're up to 160. Eight comments right now. Reason. There we are. We're back. Everyone wow. using that I don't know what happened. Yeah, we just dropped out for whatever reason on the feed. It's fine. That's the problem with lives. Lives are tough. I've seen a lot. I've watched a lot of lives on uh, the internet, and a lot of times it happens. You just have all kind of technical issues. Sometimes they drop in and out. But I've seen a lot of lives on the old YouTube. On the old YouTube, I've watched a lot of lives in my day, but I've never seen any as funny as them two gas <laughs> eating them crackers. I watched a few shows. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm going in for a sip. All right. Um, for me on the nose on this one, it's similar to the Special Reserve. I'm getting a vanilla note in there, a, a little bit of caramel. So maybe it's like a butterscotchy thing going on. Getting some oak. Again, like a light cherry. Uh, uh, and honey in there, too. There's like a honey note in the background. Ooh, still the left nostril is dominant. Still getting such a fruit. It's like a, almost like a Fig Newton smell. Okay. All right. You want to go in for the break the palate up there, buddy? Yeah. Cheers. Wow. Okay. Now we're back to like the 107, that really sweet candied kind of flavoring going on with it. It's really good. Wow. Wow. Okay. That is really good. Got a really nice cinnamon note going on in the back. Wow, that's nice. Yeah. And obviously, this is right up your alley. This is. This is very nice. This is obviously it's age 12 years. So this one's 12 years old. Um, I don't know what the age is on the special reserve. So if anybody does know, Jay from Baby, Bourbon and a Baby, if you could comment, let us know. I'd have to pull that up on YouTube to find it. So let me drop out of this. Go over to that. And friends, don't forget, now is the last time for you to start getting your entries in. If you haven't yet, to comment so that you can get into the giveaway in the next video. That's right. Put your comments down there so we can get you in. We are up to 24 entries right now uh, on our prize wheel, the Wheel of Names. What else are you getting off this one, Nick? It's so similar to the 107, like just again with like a little bit more spices in there, but it's not as, <clears throat> they're not as prevalent. Like I'm getting that honeysuckle and the honey and the vanilla and the, the like I said, it's like a, a fruit, whether it's a fig Newton or like mm -hmm. a cherry still. I mean, a lot of those same flavors from the 107 are apparent here. I don't know. Getting, that, more. getting that, like a light butterscotchy note in there. Um, that cinnamon's going in over the tongue in the back. It, yeah. it, it has, I want to say it's definitely more refined than the Special Reserve. And it's similar to the Antique 107. It's very similar to that one anyway, palette-wise for me, um, as far as the initial, that candiness, that, that sweetness you're getting out of it. Okay, so bourbon and a baby, thank you, sir. So we did get another comment coming up. 
Uh, Bourbon and a Baby from Jay, Jay there says that it's also six six to seven years old, he believes, um, just like the 107. Thank you, Jay. Appreciate that, yeah. my friend. Derek, um, it says that the chat platform support, it's, it's allowing um, pretty much everything except for Facebook groups right now. <laughs> Yeah, to, to pull up, it's like really hard. Like it's, uh, for whatever reason, I have to keep refreshing my cell phone to so I can see the comments going on. So sorry about that, folks. We've had some couple of tough technical difficulties this evening. Got a little spam going on in there. We had going on in one of my feeds. So I'm going to do some more research. Hmm. Uh, not that much more. Are you? No, not really. I'm, I may put some water in it just to uh, see if I, I did. Up. Oh, you did already? I haven't put the water in yet, Nick. Man, I must have missed it. That must have been between crackers. The crackers threw me off. Hmm. hmm. Uh, yeah. still, it just kind of enhanced the cinnamon note for me, uh, brought that a little bit more forward. Um, but I don't know if I'm also getting like that Anise, uh, star, uh, star Anise in there, um, yep. way in the back, like it, that yeah. kind of opened it up with the water. I'm kind of getting that there. Yeah. Like you said, it's like a, it's a it, it tastes like cinnamon right off the bat. You're still getting some sort of a fruit note in there, but then the bite comes in the back with, like you said, a little bit of star Anise or something yep. like that. So. No, that one's very good. I like that. I'm. The twelve year is definitely different than the. I mean, I am glad that each one is different than the other. I mean, I am. I'm really happy about that. So you get a different experience with each one. Um, yeah. So you know, if, so I hope. Uh, does anybody else have the twelve year out there? I don't know if you can. You can comment. Let us know um, if you do have the twelve year. If you do, what what's your experience with it? If uh, you've tried it and you're trying it right now, what you're getting out of it? Hmm. Did you say Fig Newton on this one? Because uh, that's what Bourbon Babe says. Yeah, he said he got the fig in the, the in the beginning on this. A little of the fig in there, he says. But I'm getting more of the spices coming off on this one, that baking spice in the background too. I'm getting both. It's just, it's kind of like, again, it's the spices are there definitely, but then the fruit like sweetness settles down almost. Mm -hmm. Cleanse the palate. But uh, anyways, last wheel of the night. I know. We're almost there. We're almost to the last wheel, folks. We're going to be doing our prize drawing now. So we have two winners. We have Jay from Bourbon and a Baby, won one of the 12-year samples. We have Chris Melende. He won one of the 12-year samples. And now we're going to be doing our drawing in a second here with the wheel of names to get the grand prize which will be the signed bottle for me and Nick, keeping it neat on both sides. And on the back, it just says keeping it neat 2020. So when you drink it in your first night of having it, you know, you remember it was from 2020. Um, you'll also get a sample of the special reserve and the 12 year with that. And we're also, then we're going to do a second runner up drawing. And that will be for a double extra large t-shirt color of your choice. Sorry. Size of your choice is not available. You're getting a double extra large. Um, so you and a friend of yours can fit into it if you'd like. Um, but you're going to get that. And then you'll get a sample of each one. So there'll be three samples with the T-shirt. So you'll get the 107, Special Reserve, and the 12 year. So not too bad, I don't think. Currently right now, we still have 24 names on the prize drawing wheel. So Nick, are you ready to do that, sir? I'm ready. All right, let me drop out the bottle. So when we pull that up, I don't have it in there. And here we go. So prize wheel is up. I am going to pull up to major screen here. Robert Bubba Lane's in there. Mm -hmm. I'm shuffle. Shuffling. Shuffle. 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 Three times the shuffle. So this is going to be for the bottle of 107. Wow. wow. Well, Jay from day. Bourbon and a Baby. Dude, congratulations, my man. Well, when you slide up on my DMs, guess what else you're going to be getting? You're going to get everything again. Whoa. Nice. Congratulations, bud. So we got Jay with that one. So he's going to get the bottle of the 107. Okay, I just 
shuffled. You ready? Yep, shuffled. And this is going to be for the T-shirt and the three samples. And... Oh, Rick. Rick won that one. Congratulations, Rick. So Rick will be getting the three samples, the 107, the special reserve. So congratulations, Rick, to come down off that, come back in, pull my comments back up. <laughs> oh, yeah. So at press, I wouldn't pay any of those prices. So let me see what, uh, well, man, I'm getting like everything's coming through right now. So Pressman says he spotted the 12 year several times. Um, he says $110, 250, 150, and 110 for the 12 year. That's what he's seen the prices for. So, yeah, hey, congratulations there, Bourbon and a baby, Jay. You got it, baby. Uh, what else? We got Pressman says, I have a few bottles of 107 back when it was 28 to $32. 107 is great, and if you can get it at a good price, it's even better, obviously. You know, everybody enjoys that at a good price. But so everybody that won this evening, so we have everybody down there, DM me or reach out to us on our Facebook page or through our email, keeping it neat with uh, Derek and Nick at gmail.com and email me, let me know your address so I can get those out to you. Um, Jay's going to slide up in my DMs, like he said. Um, let me know what his address is so I can ship him a bunch of stuff from him being the big winner this night. So congratulations, Jay. I'm glad you won that. Good job, my friend. Um, so, you know, great job tonight. I had a lot of fun. I hope everybody enjoyed it. Me and Nick are going to do more of these in the future. Um, you know, we, we were throwing around, kicking around a couple of different things, maybe doing another sip along where we get you the samples and we can invite in up to eight other people in this feed. So maybe we'll do something like that where we'll send you the invites, you'll come in and you'll be on the show live with us when we do it. So that would be kind of cool. And that'll have to be after my surgery, obviously, when I get back. Um, Nick is going to be doing some lives in between then. Um, he's going to be the man. At, well, I'll be running Mission Control here on my end, but Nick will be doing the major portion of it with a couple of guests we are going to have in between there um, doing it. So uh, so that's the uh, whole just with that, um, you know, trying to keep it going here because we've had such a huge outpouring that, you know, everybody would liking these lives a lot. So, you know, Nick really likes doing the lives, you know, because he gets to show off his hairdo every week and we get to see it grow and grow. Like Wolfman Jack over there, if you remember that from way back in the day. <laughs> but yeah, so um, so what we're going to do, folks, is I want to thank everybody for their support. Number one, for, you know, reaching out to me on Facebook and everything for my surgery upcoming. Um, definitely keep everyone updated after I'm done with it. You know, let you know how I made out. Um, and once we start doing those lives, we're going to be going into it. And Nick will get to, you know, be the... The, the host of the show. He's going to be hosting everything. He's going to be in charge. He's going to be the Good man. Good this show. It's going to be a lot of crackers, people. It's going to be a lot of crackers. It's going to be, it's going I don't be know, a lot of change the name from keeping it neat to watch the crumbles. I don't know what we're going to do. It's going to be something. <laughs> Sweep the crumbles. Yep. Sweep them up. You know, a little bit of crackers in the back. We'll do that. But I oh. hope everybody enjoyed. If you liked actually doing what we did tonight with the sample bottles and getting samples out to everybody, um, you know, please comment. Let us know that you like that. So we'll do this again in the future where we get to have everybody sip along with us where it becomes a group experience for everyone. Uh, okay. Planning a big, exciting return episode when I do come back. Actually, um, we have one of our followers, Paul Lavelli. He tossed me an idea the other day. It's actually going to be blind. I'm not going to know, and Nick's not going to know what it is. He's working it out with Bourbon Bay Becca. But when I do come back after on the mend after my surgery, we're going to have a big blind event. So watch out for that. The information on that one. It is going to be a donkey. We're going to do blind. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be a lot. But yeah, it's going to be big. It's going to be a sampling. It's going to be similar to this night where we're going to get samples out to people. But it's, it's going to be exciting. We can't wait um, because there's only going to be two people that know, and it's not going to be me and Nick, which I like, but it's going to be a blind sampling. So no one's going to know what we're drinking. Only going to be two people, and we'll let them know sometime during the show. I believe that's the the gist of it because even I'm not in on the actual planning. I had to 
they, they're working it out together. So that will be on my return after my surgery. Um, but until then, make sure you keep watching, comment, like, make sure you share. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my our YouTube channel. Me and Nick, we need we want more subscribers. We're at like 358, I think it was today. Um, you know, if we can get a couple more people, that would be great. Um, you know, try to boost our numbers. Our one year anniversary is coming up in July. It'll be July 18th will be our one year anniversary being on YouTube from our very first episode. So that's pretty exciting. Unfortunately, it's not as exciting as I thought it would be because I am going to be not drinking at that time. I'm getting ready for my surgery, unfortunately. <laughs> Nick will be drinking, you know, so Nick will be drinking something somewhere, but we, you know, we, we will have our regular episodes. We'll be coming out every week. We'll be doing our episodes because me and Nick are putting those in the bag right now. We have another taping session coming up that we will be taping some more. So that'll get us through until um, we're back up and I'm back up on the mend and we can start getting doing maybe some more lives together. So thank you very much, Jay from Bourbon Baby, wishing me all the best. I appreciate that, my friend. Congratulations tonight on your big wins. That's great. Um, but Nick, do you have anything for the people? No, we all just, I know everyone on Facebook's going off too, and just coming from me and your family and stuff, we're all wishing you a happy and hopefully great speedy recovery. So I'm going to get you back on the show soon. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, everyone. And again, I appreciate everyone's well wishes. And I, it really it makes me feel great to know that I have so much support behind me out there in the community. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Keep watching us. We're going to have new episodes out every week. That's not going to stop. Our lives are going to go maybe other bi-weekly or so, maybe every three weeks, depending how it works out. Um, but we are going to... So let's see. Okay, I'm back. But um, so, yeah, it's just a weird night. Honestly, I don't I don't know. Um, but other than that, thank you, everyone so much. Um, Nick, do you have any last remarks or to for our people? No, take us out, brother. All right, taking us out. Let me get my stuff ready here. Oh, where am I? Oh, there I am. Okay. Well, folks, here's hoping that everyone finds a little bit of luxury in an otherwise ordinary life. Thanks, everyone. Take care. Bye. Bye.